Now on the plus side, we are sent all the way back here. And we just need to well, readjust our weapons and see what uh, Sage Sibba has to say. Alright, weapons. So, where's our Thunder Sphere? Excellent. So we just need to bypass the rocks again. That's our experience. That might level up on the way back. Oh, yeah, don't forget your Chocobo! Now on the plus side, we can ride all the way back, too. Just have to get out of the floating rock area. You guys are... Well, it's still kind of worth the trouble, in all honesty. Aha! Ice Brand works on them, too. Slightly faster attack. Yeah, nope, not that way. Back around this way. And we've been here or twice already, so we ought to know which way to go. And back around the canal. Gonna need the flame flail one more time. Should be the last time, actually. I don't know of any other flail puzzles. That are required, but I could very well be wrong. Worst comes to worst, just to uh, re-equip it. That did not die. There we go. I wanted that level up. And this is a maze level. Oh, I didn't get all but one again. Oh well. Different angle. Yeah, like I said, the speed run skips the Cyclops and just kills that Golem with Maddox. They need a bunch more for this area, too. Oh, one thing I... well, I'll wait, until, I'll wait until we get there to mention it again. I actually don't know why the translation... ...didn't update one particular town name. I think the original Game Boy the version kept it short for space limitations. Alright. Now I'm currently top off... oops. That's right, the other stake is over here. There we go. And thankfully our Chocobo warps next to us. Alright, back to Lorem. Which, uh, I actually should have mentioned this earlier, but Lorem is actually Lorimar. Another staple mana town. And for whatever reason, they just shorten it in this. I would actually have to double check the Game Boy script to be 100% sure. I know they kept it in, in later games. And of course, make our way back around. Thankfully, you do not need to go all the way to the Frozen Wasteland again, just back to Lorem Castle. Which is suspiciously empty, <laughs> now that you think about it. There's what, uh, two citizens, the King and, and Siva there? Now, for the most part, we are done wandering around most of the world. There's one more dungeon we have to go to, which should be covered 
by that 1k we've not yet gone to. Then after that, we have the point of no return. All right, Seba, what's the deal with this rusty sword? Our quarry hides in Glee, but all roads to the castle are guarded. We have no choice but to raise Dime Tower. The Dime Tower? But I heard it was buried in the Crystal Desert. How are we supposed to find it, let alone raise it? You will use the Holy Sword! Deep within the desert, you will find a cavern containing ruins of the Empire. There, raise the lost Excalibur, and the tower will emerge from the sands like a mirage. But this is just a rusted old piece of junk! Do not be fooled by appearances, Matthew! The sword is a fickle mistress! She will lend you her strength only once she has deemed you worthy. If you are a true Gemonite and Sir Bogon, I believe, then we have nothing to fear. But what if the sword doesn't deem me worthy? You mustn't worry over matters beyond your control. Now go! The passage leading to the Vandal Ruins is thought to be somewhere near Ish. The professor may know of its whereabouts. Well, back to Ish. And good time to save. Let's go. If we want to go for a ride. All right, let's go ahead and fill in that at uh, one map square near the top left corner. I think it should just be a piece of river or something if I can get to it. All right, we are done in Lorem. Done in the Ammonite Coast. Okay, yep, gotta gotta bypass the dock back to the Crystal Deserts by several spaces. Now, the sad thing is, we don't see any of those monsters at the. Elder of Ish warned about things that could swallow whole ships. Of course, that'd probably be a good thing. I don't want things chasing me in the sea. So if I can head down. Excellent. Yep, this is little. This is little place I don't think we'd get to earlier, and even then, yeah, just dead end. And we should fill out the last bit of map on the way to the next dungeon, but eh, for plot purposes, let's go talk to the Professor and get the info on what that dungeon actually is. And thankfully the map makes it much easier to make our way back to Ish. This place is huge, and in the original Game Boy game, very easy to get lost. Once more unto the breach, my friend! Then you must, need, then you must needs be prepared! Powerful magic slumber beneath this land! Their power is but yours for the taking, if you know where to find it. One such spell can be found in a desert oasis to the north, but beware the leech who guards it. This is the dungeon I was talking about where you can sequence break. You could go there any time after getting Chocobot, and some people do so early to get the rewards. But unfortunately, I got it mixed up with where you find the sword. Again, just as a result of not playing this for years. I think we've already found the path to that oasis. Just have to get back there. Alright, double check on the map here. Yep, basically a straight shot north. It'd honestly be pretty funny if you could just plow down enemies and defeat them. And there's our dock. Don't think the enemies here are gonna be any more powerful. And here we are! Final spot of the map, filled in, right there. Yeah, these are Ammonite Coast enemies. At this point, not, no point in fighting them. And here we go. Oh, sealed cave. Ah, let's see, what am I gonna want? Let's try the Demon Axe. Let's 
So what is our... Okay, so level 45. Uh, am I gonna... Is it just a lich fight, or...? No. Oh, just a lich fight. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this place is short. Well, that's what happened to him after he tried to conquer Dreamland and got defeated by the Star Rod. Ow. Well, the Demon Axe does work. Yeah, this guy is a bit of a bugger. I missed. You know, you stole that move from Castlevania. Oh, I, I had iframes. And he does travel in a figure eight pattern, so yeah. I'll get that scythe out of the way. Nice hit! And are you gonna unleash something? There's another scythe. Oh, good, I thought I missed. Yeah, take it slow. Don't get hit like that. There we go. Yep, tough fight, but overall, could be worse. You slay the Lich. You find the Book of Flare. You learn the spell Flare. Final spell in the game has one use. So what I want to do is we will just open the path to Dime Tower. Unfortunately, I am going to need to double check where it is. I will get very lost, I'm very sure. <laughs> then we'll retreat to Ish and stock up and be on our way. And like I said, I did not find that other sickle. I don't remember where it is. Not really going to worry about it. Since you really don't have to use them anymore at all. But I'm probably going to want to at least uh, refill my MP. Because we basically have to blow up a rock. So in that case... What weapon do I got on? Nice brand. Let's see if the professor has anything new to say. The entrance to the buried ruins has remained hidden for many years beneath a giant crystal. This crystal is harder than any diamond, but a well-limbed flare shall shatter into a thousand pieces. Find it, and you will find the entrance. So, giant crystal. It may set itself apart from a... Uh, from a regular one. In the in the Game Boy version, they're all the same size, so who knows if they adjusted it to make it easier for us. Nice current uh, game time. 